If I were to start from the beginning, I would have done it another way. I'm here to talk about how you should learn data science, learning from my own experience when I decided to transition into data science from an engineering background in college. In this video, I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step approach of how I feel you should learn data science and become a data scientist today. This video will be about how you should learn, what to learn, and where to learn them from, looking at how everything plays into the big picture of you landing a data science role. I want you to also know that these opinions are mine, thinking back on how I should have done it if I were to learn data science all again from scratch. All right, let's talk about learning data science. Quite a number of people want to either start a career as a data scientist or switch careers to data science. Chances are you are either learning the wrong way and the result is that it will create a gap in your knowledge that might hurt your future career. At this time, if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell button so that you'll be the first to know when I release a new video. Like and share this video to help others who are interested in starting a career in tech easily find this video. The first thing we're going to look at is, is data science for you? Before starting out your data science career, there are some questions that you want to ask yourself so that you know if you have a career in data science or you should actually consider something different. Ask yourself if you enjoy the following things. Statistics and programming. It might be from your prior knowledge or experience or one of your courses right in school that you love. The second thing is working in a tech crew that will require constant upskilling and learning of the latest tools and technologies. The third one is working in a different data rules other than data scientists. If your answer to the above questions is a strong yes, then you're on the right track to learn data science. Otherwise, you can watch my video on building a tech career to learn about another field that you might find interesting and that you might be willing to pursue. Let's consider how to learn. If you have ever played a game before, you would understand that at the beginning, your first task is to complete some sort of beginner level or stage one before you can play your way into much more advanced stage. It's the same for data science. You have to own your skills with the fundamental concepts. To understand this, let's take a look at the pyramid of data science needs, which originally stemmed from the Maslow hierarchy of needs. And we're going to use this to unlock how you should learn data science, ultimately becoming a world-class data professional. This is because the pyramid is really helpful to understand how to align your job responsibilities to your technical skills. This is what I'm going to explain in this video to help you learn data science much more better. So in the pyramid of data science needs, every component depends on each other. And you need to have a good understanding of the base component to be successful as you move up the pyramid. The hierarchy of needs can also show different careers in data science and processes involved with each specialization. You must know that this is also determined by the company you work with. Some companies value specialization where you have a data engineer who is responsible for different tasks when you compare to the data scientist or when you compare to a machine learning engineer. Everyone is assigned something. As some companies employ generalization in their data needs, where they have like two talented individuals on the team who owns the whole project and they wear different hats. The latter is the most common experience, especially if you find yourself working in a startup. The pyramid of data science will guide you to determine the best way to learn data science and you'd be on your path to becoming a full stack data professional. If you are just starting out, whether you are coming from a different background or you are just learning from scratch, you can commit learning period between say 6 months to 12 months to fully pick up all the needed concepts. You can do this in less period, it depends on your learning strategy, schedule and motivation, which we are all going to talk about in this video. Let's talk about what to learn and where to learn them from. I've broken this into different levels. Level 1, Fundamentals. Python programming, structure query language and version control. The made up level one. The first skill that you should pick up is Python programming language. This would form the basis of your programming skills. And because Python is the most used programming language in data science, I'd say you're learning a valuable skill. Also, it can come in pretty handy when you want to do other stuff aside from data science because Python is a general purpose language. 
My advice here is to learn Python as a programming language and not a crash course. Understand the fundamentals, spend time understanding the foundation. You'd expect to know things like data types, functions, control flow, data structures and algorithms, object-oriented programming, and how to work with external libraries. Good Python programming skills will set you up really nicely for your data science career and you can use the Python skills to pivot into building software if that's what you're interested in in much later time of your career. The next skill to pick up is SQL, which is Structured Query Language. Basically, a language that is used to communicate with databases and you can pick up concepts like querying data with SQL statement, filtering data, joins, aggregations, uh, subqueries, etc. For this fundamental stage, the last skill to pick up is version control, which is essentially learning how to work with Git and GitHub. Because as a data scientist, you might find yourself working uh, on different projects with a large team and you have to work with other analysts and engineers. What this means is you should be able to save your changes and download changes from others from time to time. You do this by working with Git and GitHub, which is a repository. And a repository is basically a central directory location that is used to store multiple versions of files. So what are the resources that is used uh, for this stage? A good place to start is learnpython.org, which is a free website to learn Python in an interactive coding style. You can also take free code Python courses on YouTube. They are all free and they are really great content. Free Code Camp also have SQL courses, version control uh, with Git courses. And if you are the type that loves to read, you might want to check out uh, packetup.com for books to teach this concept we talked about. After learning, remember the key is to be able to use what you've learned. For the project, you can try extracting data from a website or application by using the application programming interface API and then saving the data into CSV or a database. If you do this, you would have put your Python programming skills to use, uh, your SQL, Git as well. And then you can use platforms like LeetCode, Akarang to practice Python, SQL, and solve different daily challenges. We're going to be solving a bunch of challenges on this channel moving forward, and I implore you to subscribe and stay tuned. So let's move on to the next level. The second level is mathematics, probability, and statistics. The skills that you are going to pick up are math, probability, statistics, and linear algebra. You don't really have to become a guru in math. You just have to familiarize yourself with these topics and they will help you during your journey. They will go a long way when you start delving into machine learning, which mathematical foundations are its core. Statistics, probability, all form the bedrock of data science. Data science mostly is based on the measuring of likelihood of events happening and deep knowledge of probability will help you to start cracking solutions around this. It's even what you might be asked during interviews as you start building your career. As a warning, do not start machine learning if you don't know statistics, mathematical methods and all these are machine learning algorithms. The resources for this session, apart from checking Field Code Camp YouTube channel, of course, is a book called Practical Statistics for Data Science. It's a really great book that covers this concept in much detail. There are also free videos on MIT OpenCourseWare Lecture Playlist. There's so much that you can learn from YouTube, and that's what we're also going to be sharing on our channel. So do subscribe and you learn a lot from this channel. Let's talk about the next level, which is getting your data collection and wrangling superpowers. Level three, you have to learn NumPy, Pandas, working with databases and all different transformation methods. It is important to know that data won't just come in a format that is readily available for you to use. You have to do some wrangling, you have to do a lot of transformation and you need to clean it before you can do further analysis on the data. Here the skills that you are supposed to focus on is data analysis with a numerical Python library called NumPy and Pandas library for aggregation and transformation. NumPy is a numerical scientific computing package that serves as the foundation for almost all other Python packages in the Python data science ecosystem. So pandas are actually built off of NumPy for instance. And you can think of uh, pandas as the super version of Excel that gives you opportunity to clean and analyze data much more effectively. As a data scientist, you always find yourself using pandas library. And the best resource for this is the Python data analysis book. 
Level 4, let's talk about exploratory data analysis, visualization, and storytelling. At this stage, your goal is to learn how to communicate insights derived from your data exploration and wrangling activities. You will spend most of the time learning how to define business questions, analyze data to answer these questions, and communicate your findings as visualizations and dashboard. Visualization libraries that you can use are Matplotlib, Seaborn, Plotly, and Bokeh. Matplotlib is actually the first major Python visualization library created to provide visualization API for Python. Other data visualization libraries that you like to adopt are Seaborn, Plotly, and Bokeh. Seaborn works pretty well and is actually the most common for uh, visualization and exploration. Spend your time to own your visualization skill set and you can also look at Power BI and Tableau. I suggest that you get your hands on these libraries, make a decision to stick to one and understand how to use it very well. Again, Field Code Camp has great resources and projects that you can work on in this uh, section to own your skill. You can also get data from Kaggle to work on different data visualization projects. You might also want to make it a personal project by extracting from different sources. For instance, extract the songs you listen to from Spotify. Let's move on to the next level, data engineering. Looking at the pyramid, you notice that at the base of the pyramid is where data collection, moving and storing actually happens. To do this, you need data engineering skills. Note that you can skip this part if you'd rather focus on statistical analysis, but if you are the curious one, adding data engineering skills to your arsenal of tools will have a long-term benefit. You can also focus on data engineering niche, and it's a quite interesting and lucrative field you can focus on. In data engineering, you'll be responsible for extracting, transforming, and loading data, and also writing automated scripts to move and store data. In this side, you mostly work with Python programming language and SQL, which is why it's very important to build your foundation in this skill set. What are the learning resources for this field? Google Data Engineering Coursera Specialization course. The second one is Udacity Data Engineering Nano Degree, which is a very great course you can take to learn data engineering. There is also a great book called Data Engineering with Python by Paul Crickard on Packet Up. Part of this YouTube channel will focus on teaching concepts in data engineering uh, from this book, so you might also want to stay tuned. So the last level is Machine Learning, Deep Learning, and Artificial Intelligence Skills. For this video, this is the final level of learning. At this stage, you already have the fundamental knowledge that is needed to dive into machine learning. You have the programming skill set, math, statistics, and probability knowledge already. So I'd say you are ready to start learning the machine learning algorithms. At this stage, you have to get yourself acquainted with the most popular machine learning and deep learning libraries and framework that you are going to work with, such as TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, and PsychicLearn. You get yourself familiar with other concepts such as classification, regression, dimension reduction, clustering, and model selection, etc. There are resources that will help you scale through this level, and I'll begin recommending them. The first one is a book titled Hands On Machine Learning with Psychic Learning, Keras, and TensorFlow. Then the next course is Introduction to Machine Learning on Kaggle. It's a very great course for beginners. Uh, deep Learning Specialization courses on Coursera is another great uh, courses to look at. Then Free Code Camp Machine Learning and Deep Learning courses on YouTube. Uh, of course, they are for free and you can start from there. You want to also make sure that you work on projects and Kaggle is a great repository of projects and competitions that you can work with and learn best practices from. So in this video, I've highlighted six levels of learning that I would have pursued if I were to start all over again. We talked about the need to make sure that your foundation in programming is solid and you should follow a project-based learning. Most of these concepts are going to talk about in this video, so you want to do well to subscribe. I've put together the links of videos and books and courses that we talked about in this video in the description below so you can find them and make use of them. Here's my take on how to learn data science. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe for more programming videos. Like and share with your friends. My name is Blessing and I'll see you in the next one.